I tried eArmony and a few of these other regular dating sites. Never worked for me. My name's Bobby Cannon. I'm 46, and I work in human resources for the federal government. And my views are mine alone, not the government's. So this is the living room. Uh, this is where I spend most of the day when I'm at home. Got my, some of my collection. I tend to be a little bit shy, so I don't meet a lot of folks for relationship purposes. And it, to be, be honest, you know, I'm a little bit heavier. So that is something that is a real negative in, in the United States. All right, guys. Well, you've now survived two socials. I congratulate all of you for going to the third and final social here in Hirasan. It's going to be over before you know it. Nothing really matters. Just go up, talk to whoever you want to talk to, make something happen. I mean, you know, don't sit there and be shy. Just go up and do it because you'll probably never see her again anyway. She lives in the Ukraine. This is your opportunity. This is it. It's the last city, and I'm down to one. To be honest, this is probably the one that my eye always came back to. Her name is Julia. <laughs> she works in a travel agency. Um, uh, incredibly beautiful. We've been writing to each other for, it's gotta be seven, eight months now. We'll meet at the social. I'm coming to basically try to sweep her off her feet. Do you have pictures of her? Yeah. How old is she? 26. She was a little bit under my uh, target age. Uh -huh. This is the one from the website where she looks like Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> she does. How can you go wrong there? <laughs> A little nervous. <laughs> Uh, just waiting. This is last hour and a half of waiting is just driving me up a wall. <sighs> something a little special. All the other guys, they go out and buy roses. I wanted to get something that would last, hopefully as long as the relationship. So, one gold rose. Hopefully it gets through this and everything will be okay. I'll be either really happy or uh, really sad. This is like prom for old guys. That's the way I'm looking at it, which is nice since I never went to proms. <laughs> nice, really nice. Thank you. I'm sort of hoping to have a table off by ourselves the whole night. And we'll have a translator, because she, she doesn't speak English. I don't do, do Russian. So we can just treat that as our first date. Every time I see someone with black hair walk in the door, my heart goes, oh, uh, it's not her. Oh, not her. When I did my search, I looked for certain specific things. I like women that have black hair, blue eyes, people that are smart, that are independent, Someone that's going to make me want to be a better me. Your climactic moment is going to happen any minute. Yeah, I'm hoping. When the guys come over, uh, they have their own set of expectations, which may be on target and may not be on target. But they think, oh, gee, I've been writing to uh, Irina, Svetlana, Elena. I've been writing to all these women, and they write to me. And I wrote to them. I told them I was coming over. And maybe that works, and maybe that doesn't. You'll be waiting for her all that time. No, she doesn't come. She'll have a few drinks. Hi, um, are the women checking in with you too? Oh, oh, okay. No English. Perfect.
thought she was going to show up. I really did. Um, so I made sure I was staying off by myself because I didn't want to have to fend off other women trying to keep them away while I'm trying to wait for her. You know, I wanted to come in here to this place to meet this person. And now we don't, I don't know what's going on. like anybody would feel. <laughs> Definitely not good. So I had a conversation with John this morning. He said, you know, the, the lady I'm talking to online, the lady I'm, I'm writing to, works full-time in, in a tourist agency Monday through Friday, half a day Saturdays, and isn't a student. And the person that Max is talking to is a student half-time. I said, you know, I've been writing to this lady, you know, we're, we're almost daily for, for months now. Emails are $10 a pop going and coming. So I'm probably out 10 grand. My biggest fear is that it was a scam, that she's writing to 50 or 60 guys and she's getting a cut of the fees for the emails going back and forth. John said he's concerned about that too. So he's trying to find out what's really going on. As he said, you know, well, there's other women to meet. I said, I didn't come here to meet other women. That's not what I was here for. Max just called me, told me that she'd be down there at 5 o'clock in the lobby. So. They finally got a hold of uh, Julia, and she is supposed to be coming here in about half an hour, hour, uh, for our first date. I have to go in there, approaching it like she's honest and, and all that, and hoping that I'm not being screwed. So... And it's been hours. I've been sitting here thinking the same thing over and over. How do I know? How, how do you know? How do you tell? Hi. Welcome. We've been writing for about seven, eight months now. I was wondering what your feeling is on the relationship. Вот сейчас, когда вы уже семь месяцев переписывались, что вы думаете по поводу ваших отношений? А вы как? What do you say? We've been writing for so long. I was hoping that we'd be able to move on. I came here to see you. That's the only reason I came was to see if if you wanted to move maybe further in the relationship. Do you feel like she was the woman that was writing to you? Uh, I had some questions and doubts um, because one of the pictures I showed her were pictures of things that she's seen before. The house, the yard, my work. People in black. NASA. NASA. This is actually pictures from the last shuttle launch. Wow. If she wasn't the one writing the letters, does it matter? It would have. Um, and it probably should. Mm -hmm. But what I don't want to do is for me to overthink and I cause the problem that isn't really there. Because honestly, I, I can't get this girl out of my mind. Uh, something that's special and beautiful and unique shouldn't be alone. They should come in Paris. And I was hoping I may not be you know, beautiful and that unique, but I'm hoping that maybe we could be a pair. <laughs> you, are, you are very inspiring. Do you want to come to America and marry me? Let's move into this direction. Okay. <laughs> Can I, please? <laughs> so what was your impressions of tonight? I think it went really well. I think I'm engaged now, so I would have to say it. it's going really well. <sighs> Did you get her email address? Uh, no, got to still go through the, the service because I need to have the translations. Huh. So we'll go through that. Uh, 
I can ask her through that if she wants to give me her email address. I don't know if she has one. Uh, di didn't even think to ask. A little preoccupied. Mm. You're engaged. I'm engaged. <laughs> feelings <laughs> I mean sort of good that you know I met her uh, she's very was a very attractive lady thinking that maybe something's gonna happen but still had that nagging feeling that something was gonna something was wrong I mean you left thinking you were engaged I was I left thinking that we were gonna get married <sighs> when I got back we were corresponding very very frequently but Every time I would ask her something personal, she just never answered the question. So it really started bothering me. But eventually I just gave up. I said, listen, you either got to answer the questions or that's it, I'm done. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> so she sent me one final letter saying that she was hurt. You know, I wasn't the person she thought I was. I was like, well, okay. <laughs> it was over. So why did you propose to her knowing that something was wrong? What was I going to lose <laughs> at that point? You don't think that he was misled or scammed? I don't think so, but I'm not 100. I'm just not 100% sure yet. You know, I have my doubts. Um, so we removed the woman from the site. So we have taken her off. You know, if, it's, if she wasn't legit, he still hasn't made anything right by me. You know, I spent thousands of dollars, you know, just for the trip. Uh, letter translations and photos. Thousands of dollars out of pocket for this. All I can say is that we worry about us. We worry about a foreign affair. And we always try to do the best we possibly can uh, for our clients. We always try to act ethically. If we find a problem, we try to work to resolve the problem. There's always going to be problems, but I think the measure of the company is how the company deals with the problems. After all this, I got depressed for a while. Uh, it really it definitely affected me. I sat around, I was actually went and got some uh, buprofen to help with that. Uh, finally worked through it. Pretty much stopped trying to date anything like that until just recently. I figured I might try it one more time. This is her, huh? Yeah, this is Vicka. It's not the same as Julia, so I'm getting personal responses and, and actual, you know, it looks like someone's actually putting some thought into the email. Do, do you ever just feel like you're just writing a photo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>